What's up guys, it's Chris Majestic and I have a really quick video for you today. So if you're looking for a cheap and easy way to improve your experience in your home theater, today we're gonna talk about some best practices for painting, treating, and choosing furniture for your room. Today's video is sponsored by Keeps. So the closer I get to 40, the more I can start to see my hair thinning. And more than half of my friends are rocking a shiny bald head right now because of thinning or baldness. I guess this makes sense considering two out of three guys will experience some form of hair loss by the time they're 35. So if you've never heard of it, Keeps is a subscription service that offers clinically proven treatments to stop hair loss. They give you access to a network of expert medical advisors that will help you make your hair loss goals a priority and help you select the right products for your specific condition. Hair loss stops with Keeps and to get 50% off your first order, go to keeps.com slash chrismajestic or click the link in the video description. Again, that's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash chrismajestic. I wanna thank Keeps for sponsoring today's video and let's jump back into it. It's kind of hard to believe, but it's been almost six years since I uploaded my home theater tour video. Now I do still plan on doing an updated tour, but today I wanna talk about one of my favorite upgrades, which happens to be the cheapest, and that's paint. So if you watched that tour video, you might remember that I was using pencil point gray on my walls, and even though they've gotten some wear over the years, I'm still rocking with this color. You also might have noticed back then that I was still rocking a beige ceiling. Well, a couple years ago, I painted the ceiling in front of my screen flat black, and I think this might actually be my favorite upgrade. So now I have dark gray walls and a black ceiling. So why did I do this? Well, aside from ambient light, one of the most important things to consider if you're using a home theater projector is reflections and light colored surfaces. This includes things like your walls, ceilings, and floor. And the reason this is important is because because light colored surfaces will often reflect light from your projector screen. So the light comes from your projector and then onto your screen and the light doesn't just bounce towards you but it also bounces around the entire room. So if you have a white ceiling, the light from your projector is gonna bounce off of the screen onto your ceiling and back onto the screen. This has a drastic negative effect on contrast and in some cases it could be almost as bad as having the lights on in your room. Before I painted my walls dark gray, I thought the image on my projector screen looked fantastic. Then I painted the walls and immediately noticed that the image looked significantly better. The blacks were darker, the colors popped more, and the image had much better contrast overall. I kept it like this for about three or four years and then I finally got around of painting the ceiling black and that actually made an even bigger difference than painting the walls. The contrast was improved even more and dark movie scenes looked way better than they did before even though I thought there was no way it could look any better. Now you can buy things like ambient light rejecting screens which might help with reflections since they usually reflect light from only one direction but even ALR or CLR screens still benefit from dark walls and ceilings. Now it's kind of hard to explain without you actually seeing the difference in person for yourself but anything that makes your room darker makes the screen darker which in turn makes for a much better surface for the projected image. This is why movie theaters always use dark colors on the floors, walls, ceilings, and chairs. Movie theaters also have very few reflective surfaces, which is something I hadn't really thought about until I started thinking about more ways to improve my home theater. And this brings us to other furniture or objects in your room. Reflective surfaces like tabletops, lights from your seats, cell phones, or even lights from something across the room can affect your viewing experience. So something like this glass cover on the top of my TV stand or my light colored carpet could actually be causing issues as well. This is also one of the reasons that people can complain about white ultra short throw projectors. Now I'm not about to go as far as replacing my light color carpet, but it's all about controlling the things that are easy. So obviously there might be some give and take considering you might not want dark colors everywhere, but either way it's something to consider if you want the absolute best experience. And reflective surfaces aren't just an issue for your projector. Untreated walls or other large hard surfaces also cause reverb or echoes from your speakers. So another task that I've started tackling in my 
home theater is acoustic treatment. And one of the least expensive ways to do this is to buy foam panels and place them around your room to absorb the sound that would otherwise bounce around the room, which makes movies sound horrible. Now there are tons of other creative or better ways to do this, such as acoustic panels disguised as movie posters, carpeted walls, and several other options, but the idea is to reduce echoes. And this is a big problem in rooms with hard floors. So if you do have hard floors, adding carpet or at least a large rug can make a really big difference. Now if you know you have good equipment and you have your speakers placed properly and you're having a hard time determining which direction certain sounds are coming from, then you may have a reverb issue and your room might benefit from some sound treatment. I've been in some home theaters with really good speakers, but the reflections killed the listening experience. And I'm not immune to this issue since this was the case for my room with my previous setup since some of my surround speakers were reflecting the sound off the front wall which clashed with the sound from the front speakers. So long story short, even if you have great home theater equipment, you could possibly get your system looking and sounding even better with some simple changes. And if you're anything like me, you probably love the idea of improving things without spending a ton of money. But that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, as always, go ahead and make sure you mash that like button for me. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever I post new videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next video.